Jalen Brunson is one of the best point guards in the NBA. Oh, yeah. Ever since coming to the New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson has been playing at another level. With the increased playing time in New York, alongside with some of the other players they have around him, Brunson has done a great job at not only proving to be a great individual scorer, but also has done a phenomenal job at being a legitimate starting point guard in terms of his playmaking ability as well, and he's been a really good one. And in my opinion, I think at this point, Brunson has proven himself to be one of the best point guards in the NBA. But quickly, before we get the video started, for the those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description, but anyways, let's get into it. Originally, when Jalen Brunson made it to the NBA, he wasn't really seen as a highly touted prospect, as he ended up being a second round pick with the 33rd overall selection to the Dallas Mavericks. And the reason for why Brunson didn't go higher in that year's draft was due to a couple different factors, but probably the main factor was his size. NBA teams just weren't necessarily sure how effective he could be at the NBA level with the size that he was at. But ever since making it to the NBA, Jalen Brunson has been really impressive. After a decently impressive rookie season, where Brunson was able to put up 9 points per game on 2.3 boards and 3.2 assists, he just never looked back from there, as he just continuously improved his game season after season. And eventually, in his last year with the Dallas Mavericks during the 2021-2022 year, Brunson had the best year of his career by far, averaging 16 points per game on 3.9 boards and 4.8 assists. And although those numbers do look very good, Brunson was actually even better than those numbers would suggest, just due to the fact that he was playing alongside with Luka Doncic, who had the ball in his hands most of the time, but in those rare occasions where Luka was out of the game for certain possessions, or he was out for a certain series of games with an injury, Jalen Brunson just looked like an elite player out there. And once it came down to the playoffs that season, Jalen Brunson completely went off with the loss of Luka Doncic. And after that phenomenal season that Brunson had during the regular year, alongside with his great playoff performance, the New York Knicks decided to sign him to a long-term contract. And in his first season with the Knicks, Brunson had the best season of his career by far, averaging 24 points per game on 3.5 boards on 6.2 assists. And originally when the Knicks brought in Brunson, there actually were some questions and concerns about how good Jalen Brunson would be as the main guy of an organization. But in his first year, it was pretty clear that Brunson passed that test with flying colors. In his first season with the Knicks, Brunson was not only putting up phenomenal numbers, but he was just doing a great job at playing winning basketball. He was being very efficient out there, he was hitting the big clutch shots, he was was dishing the ball off when he needed to, and overall he helped the Knicks make it to the playoffs after missing it the season prior. And during the playoffs his previous year for the Knicks, in the first round matchup especially, Jalen Brunson once again went off. Brunson was doing a great job at scoring for himself at a really high level, hitting those clutch shots, keeping the Knicks ahead when he was hitting those shots, and overall Brunson was just doing a great job at scoring for himself, but also involving his teammates out there, and he led the Knicks to their first first round victory in some time. Now unfortunately, Unfortunately for Brunson and the Knicks, in their second round matchup, Brunson individually didn't play as well as he did in the first round, in part due to the fact that the Miami Heat just had a perfect game plan for Brunson, and a lot of the other guys in the Knicks just weren't really stepping up all that much, and unfortunately for the Knicks, they ended up losing in the second round to the Heat, but either way, when you look at what the Knicks were able to accomplish this previous season based upon the expectations they had going into the year, I definitely think it was a huge success, and a huge reason for why they were able to be so successful successful was due to the addition of Jalen Brunson. He really proved to be a great addition for New York, and at this point in my opinion, I really do feel as if Jalen Brunson has proven himself to be one of the best point guards in the NBA. Now a question that some of you may be having at this point is why do I feel that way? Why do I think that Jalen Brunson at this point is one of the best point guards in the NBA? Well in my opinion, I think there's a couple different reasons for why I feel this way, but the first factor that I want to touch upon is the fact that he was able to come into this New York Knicks organization and completely 
completely turn things around for them. When you look at the New York Knicks rosters the season they got Jalen Brunson and also the season prior to that, they actually had a very similar roster. They still had those main guys in RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, Emmanuel Quickly, Obi Toppin, Mitchell Robinson. They still had that same group of guys and really the only main difference between the season before they got Brunson and the season after they got Brunson was actually the addition of Jalen Brunson. And when you look at the level of success the Knicks had last year with Brunson not only making it to the playoffs but also making it past the first round and having some success in the second round although it wasn't that successful for them but either way that level of success was definitely great for New York and when you look at what they were able to do this season prior having a horrible year not even making it close to the playoffs and a lot of their main guys just not showing all that much progression there was a clear contrast of what Jalen Brunson brought to this organization he's just one of those high character guys that you want to have on your organization and he was just a guy that was really going to help the Knicks build up their culture their winning culture at least by not only what he was able to do on the court but also what he was able to do off the court as well but the next factor that I want to touch upon for why I feel as if Jalen Brunson is one of the best point guards in the NBA is due to his on the court play now when you look at Jalen Brunson it's pretty clear that he's an extremely talented offensive player he does a really nice job from that three-point range whether you talk about the catch and shoot three-point jump shot cross over into a three-point jump shot sidestep or step back basically from that three-point range Brunson has a really nice ability to do it all and he does so at a really high percentage as well but even besides his three-point shooting game he also has a really good mid-range game and his mid-range game is even better than his three-point shooting ability from that mid-range area Brunson does a really nice job at hitting that one dribble pull up by getting his defender off balance and quickly pulling up for that jump shot and shoots an extremely high percentage from that mid-range area he actually shoots one of the highest percentages out of all players in the NBA from that mid-range but even besides that he does a really nice job at hitting that post turnaround fadeaway catch and shoot mid-range jump shot cross over sidestep step back even has a really nice floater from that mid-range area and basically as I mentioned before from that mid-range Jalen Brunson just does a tremendous job at not only being able to do everything from that area but also does so at an extremely efficient rate as well but once driving all the way to the basket Brunson has also extremely talented and once again he's one of the better players in the NBA at that as well as once driving all the way to the basket Brunson does a really nice job at being crafty in there finishing around players with either his left or right hand but also has a nice amount of strength and athleticism to finish through contact for n1 finishes as well and overall when you look at his individual scoring ability from all three levels Brunson is just extremely talented and it just makes him that much more of a dangerous offensive threat when you're able to do everything very efficiently but even besides his great scoring ability a huge reason for why I think Brunson is one of the better point guards in the NBA is due to the fact that he's also a really good passer and playmaker out there I actually think this is somewhat of an underrated aspect of his game but Brunson does a really nice job at running the pick and roll or the pick and pop and finding wide open players that way or just breaking down the defense when he's rolling offensively but it always seems as if he knows what he's doing out there he's under control and he's either going to get good looks for himself or he's going to get good looks for his teammates and having a point guard like that on your organization that can just calm everyone down get everyone easy looks score for himself as well it's just a point guard that I think you want to have on your organization and I think based upon the factors that I mentioned in this video I think it's fair to say that Jalen Brunson is one of the best point guards in the NBA but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think Brunson is legitimately one of the best point guards in the NBA or do you not think so but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy check one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time peace out guys